Guys, I apologize, okay? No intro, no AFTV, no funny intros or anything like that today, okay? This is strictly a Chelsea video. I'll be doing more reaction videos to, uh, in future videos, basically, okay? Expressions from Tottenham, United, Stan, and AFTV, as always, when their clubs lose, okay? But today, some Chelsea fans, not all, have to take a massive L. Hakim Ziyech as a Chelsea fan when he was younger, that photo is me, okay? That photo is me, and I'm the one that published that photo with a friend and it went viral and now many Instagram page, Twitter pages are saying Hakim Ziyech as a child when he was younger. I'm afraid I know we look alike and it's it's great news but it's me, sorry. But we're going to get straight into all of that. Also going to be speaking about Hakim Ziyech, uh, how important he is for Chelsea Football Club, what he can bring throughout this entire season. Also why Reese James is the best right back in the league. I'd even ask you guys, yeah, I hope you lot are all having a lovely day slash evening as always. And make sure if you guys can, Smash that like button, let's get at least 300 likes, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak of. So, very quickly, me and my friend Chris and Monalo on Twitter, um, he posted a photo of me, okay, when I was younger, said, Hakim Ziyech's dreams come true. This is straight after the Sheffield United game. And this tweet went a bit viral, okay? A lot of people started posting, I thought, okay, it's gonna die out in a few hours or something like that. Next thing I see, a lot of pages started posting this. Uh, we had London will always be blue. As a child, Hakim Ziyech was excited, or exited as they typed on their caption, when his mother bought him a Chelsea jersey and her to take a photo. Years later, he becomes a Chelsea player and leads the line for them. I mean, it's a lovely photo and that pose, I totally understand it, but that's, that's me. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> you don't know what I mean. Got a reply here from Law05 Upper Shed. I can't find it, but there's a picture of Ziyech in a Chelsea shirt when he was a child, pre-Roman, and he said his favourite player growing up was Zola. You don't know my favourite player is Zola of all time. I'll do anything to speak to Zola right now. I'll give away my channel to speak to this guy. You know what I mean? I want to interview him one day. That's the aim for this channel, one day. Jeremy Zola on this channel, okay? Make sure you lot remember that. But, um, yeah man, that's me in it. And the guy responded, uh, so he responded with my picture, okay? We've got a, uh, I think Moroccan page, I've not looked into them properly, Alma. Um, they put an emoji, question mark, who is this player, it's tagging Chelsea. And then they say this Hakim Ziyech. Similar pose in that photo as well, which you know, looks good. Um, I've told many guys as well that there's a photo of me that I've posted and people are posting it as Hakim Ziyech. And still, people are posting these photos. I don't understand why. It's funny, like, don't get me wrong, it is funny. But I've told you guys on all social medias, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, this is fake, this is me. There are people commenting and tagging me in pages saying, can you confirm it, it's you, I've confirmed it. Yet, still, people are saying, yeah, it's Hakim Ziyech. Um, you know, some of the replies I've got from my guys as well, uh, we've got Andrew, have I'm not seeing this, Pato saying it looks like him as well. And then we've got Chris talking about it again. I absolutely love that there are blokes out there making a whole story up about Hakim Ziyech's childhood from one picture, okay? He also said that it goes beyond that. On a Holland Channel, uh, they talked about it, how, how he's doing well in England and this picture of myself had come up. It's bizarre how you can con everyone. Journalists don't even bother. Can you imagine that one photo that goes viral, like someone just made it up and now it's basically published everywhere. It's me, man. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I, I can probably accept and say, okay, it's Hakim Ziyech. But he'll probably come out soon and say, that's not me. And hopefully he tags me because I've messaged him on Instagram and hopefully he sees it or says something. But as I said, you know, there's people outside my house asking if you've got any more I can see it's childhood pics. Probably, I can get on. Uh, Lump of Kamal, of course, I've got everyone on strings, but look, it's officially taking my childhood. I don't even mind it's I can see it. I'm happy if that's the case, but I just want to make sure you guys are aware this is not real news, unfortunately. But that's all I wanted to say. Uh, people have responded that it is me on Twitter and Instagram, but people are still posting it for some reason. And people saying, do you know who this is, blah, 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 confirming. And I've said many times, it is me. Many people have deleted their tweets as well. Uh, my guy Frank Khalid posted it as well. Don't worry, Frank, but it's all love, man. I don't mind you posting it, man. <laughs> but everyone deleted it after, and that's about it. But look, let's get straight into the actual Chelsea video. Sorry I took too, too long on that, but it was a funny video anyway. So Chelsea fans... Have to take an L on that. Chelsea have scored 20 goals in the Premier League. That's the most out of all teams. We've conceded 10 goals only. That's the second 
highest that I've conceded, the lowest basically. Three clean sheets with second place in that. Passes just over 5,568, second place, and possession 58.8%, which is third place. Absolutely immense stats, man. Immense. Exciting. Fantastic. We're just gonna get better and better. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking like I finished it. I finished the video or something. But um, look, Hakim Ziyech, before he came, okay, he created 82 chances in 1,617 minutes of the Dutch League last season. He also created 43 chances in the Champions League since 2018-19 season, which 11 of them were big chances. He's here to take over, basically. And now we've seen 3.8 per Premier League game every 90 minutes so far. So this guy's coming thick and fast. He's going to be improving our squad. My question is, can he become the best winger in the league? My Straight answer is yes, 100%. He gives you goals and assists. He can do both, okay? And what I like about him, I've told you guys many times, his mentality to take risks and pass forward, okay? He's not afraid. Now, Pulisic is very similar. He's not afraid at all. And that's why there's two or three men on him all the time. But I feel like Hakim Ziyech is that guy that can either score or ping out that pass that we need when we're under pressure, of course. And even if you're under pressure, he'll give you that ball straight to your feet as well. So that's what I really like about Hakim Ziyech. And I feel he can take us to the next level, 100%. Um, and as I always said, the future is bright as a Charles fan right now. Now, Mason Mount has been called teacher's pet. You know, kind of a kiddish, childish thing uh, that you hear back in school days. Well, certainly in my school days, which was about 10, 15 years ago. Uh, and he responded straight away. I'm a player that wants to do the best for the team and, and work hard. And maybe people take it the wrong way. I don't know. You see comments here and there. But I'm not one really looking to social media and that side of it. And this is what I love about his mentality. He puts that all to the side. He shows what he's capable of on the pitch. Now, of course, when he plays into position that he needs to be playing as the number eight on the midfield, that is his best position. And that's where no one can talk anything about him. When he plays out of position, it's question marks to Frank Lampard to why he's playing there when we have other wingers in the squad basically that can play. So yes, Mason Mount, fantastic mentality and I really hope you continue and push that 100%. Um, Russ Barkley hasn't been called up to the England so now what's funny about this one is he's played amazing football at Aston Villa. He turned into Ronaldo against Arsenal. I don't know if you guys saw it where he just stopped the ball, he took his time and he just you know, put it through his legs and that, you know what I mean, CR7, United Prime vibes, you know, ice cold, gloves on, like all those feelings, you know what I mean, like how is he not in the squad, but when he was playing for Chelsea, rotating and not playing that many games on the Sarri and Lampard, he was called up. You're meant to be based on merit, if you know what I mean, you should be called up right now. Now, no disrespect to any other guys, the youngsters that have come through that are coming up now as well, Maybe it's just a trend, but Southgate, I don't think is good enough for the role for England. I don't like international football anyway. I don't waste my time on that. I watch majority of highlights unless there's a big game or something. But if it was me, I feel like if I was Southgate, I should be able to win that World Cup, if you know what I mean. Like, or at least win something. Like, I don't feel like any England team in the last 10 years have shown us that we're going to be building and getting onto the next level. Even when we had scores, Gerard Lampard. I feel like we could have accommodated Gerald on the right, in my opinion, and, and Skulls in the middle with Lampard or something like that. You know what I mean? And I feel like many things could have been done, okay? But it just wasn't done. And England have not let us down, but the expectations should have been there, but it just hasn't, you know, been fulfilled, unfortunately. And that's just maybe for another day to speak about. Uh, but Rhys James, let's talk about why he's the best right back in the league so far. 723 minutes in for a club. Two goals, one assist, 88.5 pass accuracy, 2.5 tackles per 90, 1.5 clearances, 0.7 dribbles, two clean sheets, and a rating of seven overall. Now, when you compare that to um, uh, Trent, zero goals, three assists, 74.6 pass accuracy, one tackle, 1.3 clearances, and he's got a less rating as well, 6.8. And one back sucker, 787 club minutes, one goal, zero assists, 81.3 pass accuracy. So that's better than Trent, but not better than... Uh, Reese, of course, 2.6 tackles. He's very good at tackling, in my opinion, but I think offensively, he's just not there. 6.78 rating as well. So maybe he's doing better than the Liverpool defender as well. But Reese James has been the standout player, of course, so far. And he's going to continue to prove, especially with Ben Chirol, as you know, I'm going to be talking about Ben Chirol and Reese James in another video, but those two that can take us to the next level, I told you guys, for many years to come, okay? And Tiago Silva, you know, cleaning up the boots and everything, just looking after all the defence, okay, 
He's working hard for an extension for another season and he will deserve it at this rate. And I'm looking forward to seeing Thiago Silva stay here for many years, maybe two or three years before he moves to Arsenal when he's about 40 years old, you know, retirement home and that, if you know what I mean. But you don't know how it goes, okay? Very different type of video. I'm always going to try and do reaction videos to Arsenal fan TV and stuff like that. But Chelsea fans have to take a massive L for this one, okay? It's kind of nice to be part of this one, but... I don't know man, it was a bit weird to see Chelsea fans share that. I don't know if it's just because they want all the content and likes and all that stuff, but sometimes you have to do your research guys and make sure you get the content right. Guys, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions as always guys. Well, watch Chelsea guys, I'm out, you don't know how it goes man, 10 minute gang, peace.